Hi, I'm Phoebe. I'm here with Harper's Bazaar UK to talk about what you don't know about me. What three words would my friends use to describe me? <clears throat> Fun, I hope. Silly. Passionate, maybe? Yeah. They're the ones that come to the top of my head. <laughs> what makes me angry? People that aren't considerate of others? That probably makes me the angriest. What makes me happiest? Either being around people that I love or working on something that I love. The best is when you're working on something that you love with people that you also love. That's the dream. Um, I'd say Bridgerton's definitely changed my life, but not not only in like the the things that have come from the job, obviously, but also just the experience of it and meeting the most incredible people and just learning so much from from working so hard for that period of time. You just learn so much about being an actor and how much your body can can take, I guess, in a way. So I, that was a huge learning experience for me, and it it changed. Well, I guess a lot, a lot of things in my life. <laughs> I wouldn't say strangers. My my weirdest audition experience was yeah, or, or my most uncomfortable audition experience was I don't want to say what it was for, but it was it's a musical film basically, and I had to learn the songs, very three very famous songs, and sing directly to the casting director, who is a very big British casting director that everyone loves, and I was so nervous. That's the one that really springs to mind because I was just saying, it's just so fast. Yeah. What would my dream role be to play? I don't think I have a dream role. I think I just read scripts and I either really connect with the role and the, the person for whatever reason. I think my dream as an actor is to keep connecting to scripts and and keep learning something new from every character that I play, which is the really exciting part of my job and why I love it so much. Who would I feel starstruck by? Um, Beyonce, obviously, <laughs> goes without question. <laughs> I grew up to Beyonce and I just absolutely love her, so it has to be Beyonce and uh, Oprah Winfrey, I think. I don't know what I'd do if I met Oprah. I'd cry. <laughs> what is a song that will always get me dancing? Um, Obviously, I'm a huge Beyonce fan. I mean, feeling myself when you're having a bad day and you're not feeling yourself, it's always a really good, good one to put on and fake it till you make it. <laughs> I was talking about this with my friends at the weekend. I lead with my like hands, so it's a lot of this, and I also like to sit down dance a lot because I don't know during a pandemic. I think that's all we've really been able to do. So this is like the move. It's a really terrible party trick, but I. That's it. I can also turn my tongue around. Yeah, just tongue things. My superpower, flying, 100%. I love flying. I mean, I can't fly, but like, flying, yeah. Hands down. The gift of life. Thank you, mum and dad. One book I never get tired of reading. Um, I read a book a few years ago called Letting Go by David R. Hawkins. And it's one of those books that it's so easy to keep reading because you get something else from it every time you read it. I also read a book recently, well, a few years ago called Women Who Run With The Wolves. I think men and women should both read it and get a lot out of it, but it really changed my outlook on, on what it means to be a woman. And again, every time I read that book, I, depending on where I am in my life, I get something out of it. So that's um, a really beautiful book. What's the most luxurious thing I've ever bought myself? Um, I, I invested in my bed because I have begun to realize the importance of having like a really lovely bed. So I went and decked out the whole thing. Linen sheets, game changer. What does self-care mean to me? Champagne, caviar, and... no, I'm kidding. Self-care, honestly, to me, was during the pandemic was long walk. So good for your mental health or f for mine, it was incredible. I live next to a really beautiful, like green space, which I can walk on every day if I have the time. So genuinely, self-care to me means like a really long walk and then maybe a bath afterwards. I mean, that's the perfect Sunday. <laughs> the advice I give my younger self, stay in your own lane, maybe. 
and stop focusing on the, the noise and the expectation of, of others. Focus on what makes you happy and um, the rest will, will come if you keep your head down.